I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. It's okay to be a sheep, not a shepherd. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing at Higher Things, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Your tax deductible gift, you can give right there. Your tax deductible gift, deductible gift, keeps higher things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. It's a really simple no-brainer, but we all need to hear it. It's okay to be a sheep. The good shepherd lays down for his life for the sheep. Pastor is a word for shepherd in Latin. It's okay to be a sheep and not a pastor. God saves sinners, not just religious people. God saves those who receive his gifts, not only those who receive and give his gifts. This is important because all of us, not just me, I mean, I grew up in Rome, but even after I became Lutheran, I think the reason why I became a pastor initially was to try to save myself. Um, because we always are warring against ourselves. This idea that the more we do at church, the more we do around the church, the more we volunteer, the more we do those things, the more saved we are. Now, there's nothing wrong with volunteering. There's nothing wrong with being a pastor. There's nothing wrong with being the choir director. But those things in and of themselves don't save. The one who saves is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. And I'm also not... Um, not hating on those who volunteer in the church because the church needs those workers. But so often the few who do the good works in the congregation despise the many who are just there on Sunday morning. In actuality, the church needs both. Actually, the church needs sheep and there are sheep and there are shepherds. Um, Luther says it this way, you could, the church is sheep who hear the shepherd's voice. Any seven-year-old knows that. The shepherd's voice from the under-shepherd, the sheep, you and me, who hear the, those, those words. Um, so I, what, what, I want you to, what I want you to understand from this is you don't have to do a religious career to be saved. God loves cobble makers. God loves cobble, cobbler, cobbler. Okay, let's try that again. God loves engineers. He loves um, nurses. He loves doctors. He loves policemen. He loves garbage men. He loves um, architects. He loves truck drivers. You don't just have to do a religious career for God to love you. He loves, loves you in the giving up of his son. Now, am I discouraging a life of service in the church? Absolutely not. I would love for you to be a deaconess if you're a girl, a pastor if you're a guy, um, a deacon or an elder or a trustee or all those different volunteer positions in the church. Um, but what I'm saying is you don't have to do those in order to be saved. You do those volunteer jobs because you are saved, because you have been given to, you give. Because you have received eternal life, you give others um, in your particular vocation, the place where you are, you give those gifts to others so that the body of Christ is built up, not with just a bunch of teachers, but with teachers and hearers, not with just a bunch of um, choir directors, but choir directors and singers, and not with just a bunch of pastors, but pastors and sheep and sheep and pastors. And so we're all knit together, each person having a particular place in the church. I think that the business people in my church are outstanding because my, my master's of divinity, while teaching me the languages and the gospel, doesn't actually teach me how to run a business. And those left-hand kingdom stuff is really important. So I would encourage you to, be, to live a life in the vocation that the Lord has given you. And he can also change your vocations. You could be an engineer for 30 years and then he decides, the Lord decides, I have use of you in the field. I could use a shepherd. Or you could be a shepherd for 30 years and the Lord be like, you know what? Thanks for your work. 
All of us are disposable and not either, any of us are, are indispensable in the kingdom because the one who is the king, the one who runs the church, is Jesus. And he has use for us as long as he would have use for us doing the particular gifts that he has given us in the place and the time where he has put us for maximum good for the sake of others. Think about that. It's okay to be a sheep. It's not bad to be a shepherd, but you don't have to be. Not in the Lord's kingdom, where there are sheep and shepherd, those who hear and those who who, who speak, um, those who preach, and those who receive. I'm Pastor George Borkart and The Sleeping Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.